Hello, everybody. DJ Vic Favor with you. And I've got a uh, completed session here, template of my track called I'm Free. It's an EDM style, progressive house, EDM style track. Uh, and we're going to go through it a little bit here and take you to a little walkthrough and let you see how it was all put together. And uh, there will be a download link, the final track, the final product in the description below. Feel free to download. It's kind of my gift to you. Thanks for hanging out on the channel. Hopefully I'm able to teach you something you don't know or at least give you ideas you haven't thought of. So that's kind of the idea here. But let's take a quick listen and some of the parts here and then we'll break it down and I'll kind of show you what's going to So it starts off with uh, a string patch or a string groove here. And then, uh, yeah, um, sorry about that. I had to turn off the mic for a brief second there. I apologize. So anyhow, we'll start out with a string. Let's take a listen to that. And I've got it kind of filtered, a little auto filter up until, I don't know, it looks like about the 19th bar there. Got to filter out. Just wanted to kind of let it come in at a real slow, gradual pace. And the reason I'm doing that is because down here, I've got a little sample from, I believe, Splice, where I've got an opening kind of hit, and then like a horn hit, and then I've got a little Atmos kind of thing. And I wanted that to all kind of work together as an intro to get, to get us into the piano that's coming up. So let's take a listen here. That's kind of how they're all married together right there. Then we're going to get a little female vocal hit right here. And then after that, the piano, piano starts. So let's take a look at that. The piano is the grand piano here in Ableton. And I've got a little EQ on it. Got uh, X for Records OTT. Not doing a whole lot, just a 19% depth. That's about the only thing I've used. Just to give it a little kind of punch on the note phrasing there, and a little, little clarity. And then the LFO tool kicks in later in the auto filter we talked about having a filter on that. So let's take a look here at Serum, because Grand Piano is playing that. Serum is actually playing real soft kind of saw wave sound underneath. Let me see if I can isolate that for us. Actually, it's not even on yet, so Serum doesn't come on until later in the phrasing. I, th I, I believe it, it kicks on um, when we go into the second break here, the second break ready for the drop. So. Let's uh, let's listen to a little bit more here, and then to get these kind of married together, what I've done is just kept shortening the length of the bar here, like the length of the chords, and and bringing them closer together, chopping them up as you were with the strings and the chords. And you can see how they kind of build up, build up, build up, and then I get them all the way down here. I cut them into real small pieces. But that gives you that kind of that tension that builds up. And then you've got a sweep that dials in right here, right near the end of that, to give it a little lift. And then it's going to go into the drop, which will have this vocal hit here. Again, I think I've, I've got that from Splice. <laughs> And then you go into the rhythm section, which we'll get into up here. So we've got this bass sound that kicks in with us right here, or this kind of bass effects. And that's Serum. 
it's running a preset. I think I made some adjustments on some of the um, LFO tools down there. And that's giving me that kind of sound right there. And I've just got a little edits in here. All right, and then we've got this base effects layer here. Let's take a look at this guy. Just a real subtle kind of down and gritty underneath. I mean, when you hear it by itself, it's like nothing, but in that mix, it's lifting everything. It's doing a really uh, a lot of work for me there. So, and then I've got this last one, kind of the same pattern and just a different, different uh, EQ work in it. I've got element work in this one. Looks like I've moved some attack and sustain stuff around on a preset there. And that's given us this really soft underneath sound. So again, those don't sound like much by themselves, but on the bass group, let's see. Combined, we get this guy. And that's given us that nice kind of syncopated feel around our kick. So let's bring in the kick. And to be honest with you, that was kind of the early seed of this track or this project was the groove right there. That was pretty much what started it all. And then I started building around that. So you bring in elements like, well, let me show you the kick. The kick is a vengeance sample kick and I've got some EQ on it. But the thing I'm doing with the kick is, and I'm doing it with the snare and the hi-hat, is I'm actually on my return channels. I've got the uh, SSL set up and EQ'd for the kick drum. I'm parallel compressing and and doing that with uh, snare and hi-hat as well. And it's they're all three, the SSL plug in there. So what that does is gives me a little extra punch and I just, I don't always do it that way. I just wanted to do it that way for this project. So let's add in the snare, the clap and the hats and listen to what we've got as a project as a whole when it kicks in here. <laughs> And you hear that little backwards reverse on the clap. Got that set up right there. And it's just simply one of the claps reversed. That's easy enough to get that sound. But I've got two layers of claps, so they're kind of offset. Just a little bit anyway. It gives you that kind of that sucking sound like you're sucking into the next hit. So, and then, you know, then I've reversed one in there to give it kind of that offbeat weird thing. That's kind of how that's set up. Let's close those guys, and then you've got your hats. They're just, uh, looks like something from one of my loop, or one of my sample packs, just a little hit there. Got a little fade in and some fade out on it, so not much, and then I've got an EQ to kind of poke out on top. So now we've got the chords. Let me unsolo all those guys. The chords. The reason, the reason the chords have a cutty, edgy sound is I'm running the LFO tool. And I've got like a little pulse width modulation set here where it's giving it a really hard hitting sidechain feel, but it's not ducking it down side, it's pushing it out. So I've got the LFO tool on in, in my rhythm sections, and then I turn it off when it goes into the buildup. So I can open up that cutoff filter and get that big wide sound. So what else do we got? And then we've got our different little effects down here, you know, just uh, that chant for the drop. And then you've got your little sweeps. And then we've got our two bass kind of glitchy sounds. 
right here. So that's just a little operator design there, giving us some nice little glitchy kind of techy sound. And let's see what else. I believe this is just yeah, this is just a little lift, little blip. So it gives it together. They get they they play off each other really well, and they get a nice little sound and it fits in well with that rhythm section so i believe we've covered everything i think i've got the arp left let's take a look at the arp real quick it's element got a layer of element plucky arp in there and then i've got a layer of serum and it's just emitted and set up for like a standard little pluck on its own so let me see what they sound like and then i've got some eq and reverb and uh, auto filter on it but let's see what the ARP sounds like by itself. And then I've got like a to accent the chords when the chords go from one phrase to another. What I wanted to do is accent it, so I put a kind of a, a note hit or a, or a horn hit, just kind of a one note horn hit right here. That guy right there. Just gives a little accent to the note or to the chord phrasing. It's real subtle, but a big impact in the track. So let me close everything up here, and then I'll just go ahead and oh, this guy. The last but not least, this guy right here is the bass effect sweep. And if you remember what we talked about earlier, I have this sound here. I took that and washed it in reverb and delay, and then recorded the audio from that. And here's the audio file. And then I'm, I've got it sitting way down in the mix, minus 22. And it's just lifting all this in the break. It's just sitting underneath there and really don't even know it's on. By itself, you'll hear it. But in the mix, you don't. But you know it's there because it's lifting everything. And what's cool about it is, is it's actually the sound of the bass effect that's going to come in the drop. So it marries that. It kind of ties that drop in with this break. Hear how subtle it is? I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's just reverb and delay. But let me go ahead and do this. Now watch when it drops. So it marries that other sound. See, that's subliminal. That's really... It's unnoticeable but in the mix you feel that smooth transition and that's one of the things that helps with that but that's pretty much the breakdown and the walkthrough of i'm free again thanks for hanging out there will be a link in the description below if you like the track or you want to take a listen or just put it into your next mix set or playlist if you out there spinning tunes hopefully it works for you i'll play a little bit from the break here into the drop and then uh We'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.